Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, uh, how, what is this called? <laughs> it's the campaign of France. Uh, Chambly sur Meuse. It's on the Meuse River. Uh, we are in the middle of cultivating our large, quote unquote, well, second largest field. We don't ever have to cultivate the first largest field because it's grass. Um, we're going to put down, I'm trying to think of what to do on these fields. I'm almost considering tearing up that field and making all three of these fields. Um, I don't know, but I think we need, we still need more grass. It's hard to know because we're trying, I'm trying to feed the cows. I don't know how the cows are going to yield. Um, because we don't have very many cows, so they're not going to produce much milk. I don't know. It's a tough one. I've got two fields worth of wheat, uh, which will also make straw. Or I think one's wheat and one's barley. But that'll give us straw, so we have enough straw, I think, for now. But the problem is with the grass. I just don't want to take up more field space with grass because it's already taken up two of our fields. And unfortunately, we just don't have that many fields. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I was looking at uh, different seeding methods. Uh, there is a, since the Cavernland pack came out, and that, that happened after I started this farm, uh, there is a um, moderately small seeder that cultivates at the same time. Uh, but the horsepower rating is just too high for our tractors. It takes like 130, and I think our largest tractor has 105 which is this one. So I don't know. I almost wonder if we should just plant grass on this field and turn the other field into like, I don't know. This is hard. It, you know, part of the issue is that uh, these fields are so small that only really wheat and barley get a dense enough crop to give us what we need we could do soybean or canola but the amount the amount that we produce is so little that it's really just like little teeny bite size you know chunks of income when we harvest those fields because they're only like a half an acre some of the fields are only quarter that like that back field number one there which we have to uh, cultivate is only like a, like literally a probably a, a quarter acre it's the size of my backyard you know I mean, our other option is just to go turn all these fields into grass and any excess that we have, we could turn into the silage plant and make um, biogas because we do own the, the biogas plant. Um, so we could make biogas and sell that. And maybe we'll try that. I just I, I, I feel like we need more grass production. And once again, the fields just don't produce enough to, to make anything else worthwhile. So let's see. The other downside to that, though, is we're set up for bailing, not for material collection. So mm, let's take a look in the menu. Whoa, stop. Forage. Nope. Forage harvesters. Hmm. That's pretty much, that cost as much as we own. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Yeah. That thing's just a little bit more. I got to think about it. We aren't going to do anything like that yet, but I'm just trying to figure out how to to make it so we can get the materials down to the farm. If we mowed it and then use that device, we could theoretically 
pull in silage. So I think maybe we'll just go, I, geez. You know, another thing that would work on these small fields that would give us a decent yield would be like potatoes or sugar beets. The problem, of course, with that is that we'd have to get the harvesters for that, and those are not cheap. Um, the sugar beet setup, I think, runs about $150,000, and the potato setup's about the same. And you need larger tractors for both. Uh, the sugar beet harvesters may be not too bad, but you also need a planter because we don't have a sugar beet planter. So I, I think that's probably out of the question for now. So I guess we'll just go ahead and continue doing uh, wheat and barley, I guess, would be the best crops that we can do on this map um, for what we're doing. Because it'll give us straw and a crop off the same field. Um, so we make a little bit of extra income. But this is a hard one. We're not we're definitely not making money fast. We're making some money, but a lot of it came from the stuff that we had in our stores. This is really our first round in the map, so it's not I guess I shouldn't be too worried about the productivity yet. Like it'll it'll get there. Especially after we start buying more fields and kind of expanding the farm. Right now, the farm is so small, it's really difficult to make a profit. But also, if we don't buy a ton of new equipment, we should be able to at least maintain the farm and, and make a small profit. I do need gasoline for this tractor. I don't think I remember seeing a gas pump. When we're done doing this job, we're going to look around and see what we have. But I don't think we have a gas facility on the farm. So I'm probably going to have to get some sort of trailer that will hold gasoline from the gas station. Where's the station at? Mm. There's gas right there. Yeah, and I don't I don't see anything on our farm, so it doesn't look like we have a gas pump here. So it'll probably be a good idea to get like a Thunder Creek trailer and. keep that parked on our farm so i'm gonna go ahead and continue cultivating this field i'll catch you guys once i'm finished and we'll get figure out what to do about the gas situation and then we'll go ahead and plant these fields and that should be it for um today on the farm we'll have to we'll be ready then to go through the evening and and go to tomorrow so uh, our we've made some income off of selling those trees uh, i did I believe I finished chopping those down and selling them, which is where the rest of our income came from. So that's that's been a good thing. We get that, those trees out of the way. It's a little bit easier now to fit down this road with our baling equipment. But, yeah. So this field will be barley. The other big field, the biggest field will be wheat. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, we are done. Um cultivating the fields and plowing them i'm going to move this out We're, i think i got a call from the dealership they actually have a john deere seeder that's fairly low horsepower required um that also cultivates and um seeds at the same time so i'm, I'm thinking about trading in my seeder for that unit uh it is a, they said it's pretty used but it is totally serviceable and uh, they have a year guarantee with it so I decided I would go ahead and think about trading this guy in because it takes a long time to get the field seeded with this little thing if we can turn three steps into one the other thing that I like about it too is it's a drag behind style um, seeder so the weight isn't resting on the back of the tractor um, so we actually need to put our seed down here boop there we go <laughs> We'll come back and get that. but So I want to take a look at this thing. I'm going to bring mine down if we like it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell the Amazon and pick up that John Deere. It's going to be a little hard to transport back. That's the only downside because we have to take it down these roads, and they tend to be kind of narrow. As long as there's not a lot of traffic, we should be fine.
So there's the biogas plant. Once again, I'm not ready to use that yet, but at some point I should be. And we're going to stop at the gas station while here in town. I'm not desperate for that fuel trailer yet. The map is small enough that we don't have to go too far to get gas, but eventually it'll be nice to have a, a tank on the premises so that we don't have to keep driving. Saint Montaigne. Saint Agri. All right, so let's take a look here at the cedar. It's around back. All right, here it is. We're going to walk around and take a look at this guy. It looks pretty nice. Like, it looks like it's in good shape. Definitely much wider. We're going from three meters to six, so it doubles the the size of our cedar and at the same time it also allows us to fertilize a pass so that'll save us some time plus it cultivates so that'll save us wear and tear on the tractor so I think it's worth doing let's go ahead and do it so we're gonna back this into the sale point uh, is it this one? It's this one so that is eh, not a bad price. We've only lost about $1,000 off of that, which isn't too bad for a day's use. <laughs> which, for us, that's a lot. <laughs> Gosh, this farm's only a day old. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this up. So that means that we'll have to use our um, plow less also, the culty plow. Uh, the trick is, though, getting this thing home right now. That's going to be a bit of a difficult task. You see, even just fitting it through the farmyard is a little tight or the shop yard okay go for it we got to clear I'm gonna turn the back lights on too so people that are behind us can see that there's a big piece of equipment on the road and we'll turn our hazards on There's nobody in this back corner, so I'm going to try to rush around here. Oh, boy. We're clear for a bit. Let's get through here. This is the tightest spot on the map right here. This is where I was really kind of worried about this stretch right here. <gasps> There's a cement truck coming. Okay, we're going to pull over here, and hopefully he'll be able to get through. Anybody else? Mostly we just need to get across this bridge. Hold on one second, folks. My dog's doing something shady, and I hear him thumping around downstairs. He's probably just playing with his toys, but... He's such a large dog that anything he does makes noise, and it's kind of like, what's he doing? Uh oh 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 Come on, come on, come on, get through, get through, get through. Yeah! I wish that the, the AI was smart enough to know that they could need to back up an inch. But they're not. Ugh. Jerk. Gosh, Cole. Okay, so we're going to go around the bend here. And I don't think we're going to run into any more traffic here. Usually the rest of the trip home is kind of quiet. I am a little concerned that this is going to be a little bit big for our farmyard. Hopefully we'll be able to get it into the pastures and fields without having any issues. But uh, got our hoppers for fertilizer and seed. And we have our seed right over here parked on the side. Oh, can we fit through here with this? Oh, boy. Ugh. See if we can't get that close enough over there to the seed. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's a good thing we don't have to seed that field very often. I might have to get my arms and pull that out. 
Shizzle sticks. Ugh. Okay, that ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna push this back to here. Go forward. It's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Here we go. Hopefully they don't run over this. Hopefully it'll just slide. There we go. Nice and easy. Right there. Oh, and it opened up. That's what I needed. Okay, and obviously the cedar is not going to come down this road. So we're going to need to go the other way. I don't even know where I'm going to park this thing. This is huge. Okay, so we've got that filled. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, this might have been overkill. One thing that you got to remember on these little farms, you really have to think about the width of items because they just they're places that they won't fit down down these roads and stuff if they're too large. And unfortunately this thing just does not fold up at all. Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez. Excusez moi. Where are you going? Okay, fine. Crushed villagers. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull in here and get this thing filled up all the way. And unfortunately, I parked my arms right where I need to be. Oh, lordy. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, and we will put some fertilizer in there, but I need to see what is in this copper here. And that is fertilizer, and quite a bit of it. So we're going to put this in the yard here. Wow, that's a lot of fertilizer. We'll be using this guy as a bleh, lime machine. So don't worry too much if it's kind of funky. and Like, why is he doing that? Lime, my friends. Lime. Brr. This thing's not easy to back up. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's going to back over here. I can. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Agromatax for the max. Okay. No, there we go. All right. So that's all taken care of. So now let's go ahead and we can turn our hazards off. And we'll load this guy back up. Oh, just a little teeny bit of fertilizer. Yep, I'm gonna have quite a bit of fertilizer left. Whoa. Wow, that was a real hawk in real life. It was like Mm, is this going to fit? Oh, man. Uh, no. Nope. Will it fit? 
I don't think it might fit down those lanes. I think it might go through here. Oh, it's like an inch too wide. Okay, so let, like we're gonna have to go this way, maybe. Or, dang it! Bit off more than I can chew. There's a very unhappy hawk outside my window tonight. Or he's very happy, one or the other. Okay, how do I get back to this field? Because I, if I'm, I need, I, do I need to go through here? Shiz. Yeah, pretty much. Is there another entrance back here off the main road? My wife is laughing at me. Yes, honey, I'm in a conundrum. Okay, I can access it from the back road, so that's what I needed to know. So we can just go around. That was going to be a pretty big problem if I, I couldn't get around. Um, so we're going to make barley. Back on the roads. Sorry, my phone is it's weird. It's been texting with no ring and I have the ringer on. I don't I don't know what happened. Okay. So just like the harvester, we have to squeeze down here and our trailer. But we've gotten rid of the trees that were hooking onto everything, so we should be all set. There we go. And we made it. So let's go ahead and power this on. Ooh, I like the way that it dropped underneath. That was pretty cool. I don't know why you'd want it. I ch I changed the wheels to these like weird like ribbed wheels. I don't know why you'd want to use those, but they looked cool. So I was like, yeah, I'll put those on. So if you're a farmer and you know why you would use those instead of just regular treads, let me know because I'm interested to find out why, like what the difference between a normal wheel and these ribbed wheels are. Did I raise that? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. So this is a seed drill from what I understand. And, and so you don't need to cultivate ever again. It just does it for you. Uh, I think in real life, I don't think it actually does any cultivation. I think it just drills directly into the soil. So you do what, what they call what they call like zero scaping or whatever. Where, what the farmers do now are they like a no till style farm. Um, and that's what these seeders do now. It's a little bit different than what the traditional farmer does who plows and stuff like that. Wow, is this so much faster, though? It runs at a bit of a higher speed, too, than the other seeder did, I think. Maybe not. So it's an A-plus as far as usage. It's a B-plus as far as practicality. It's a little bit awkward on our farm grounds because it's just so large, it's hard to fit in there. Doesn't fit well. It's too big. It's so big. Too large to farm. Your cedar is huge. It's too big. But, uh, yeah. I do see a lot of farmers around here using these this type of cedar. Like the pull behind style. I don't see a lot of tractors around here using that, the mounted type that we had before. Uh, once again, in Europe, I think they do, but here in America, they mostly use these drag behind seeders. I don't know why that is, but maybe just because they're wider or they hold more. Don't put the weight on the back of the tractor. Require less horsepower. <coughs> 
And so we're almost done. I like the way it leaves those huge lines on the field. It's pretty cool looking. Haven't seen that before. Maybe they work as like a ridge marker type thing, so you know where the cedar's been, and you can kind of come back and put the wheel in that line. I don't know, guys. If you, Like I said, if you know why they would use that as opposed to something different, let me know, because they definitely leave a different mark. Okay, so we're off to the next field, and on that field we're going to plant wheat. Try to sneak down the alleyway here. Nice and slow. All right. So we've made it through. And I think we can spray that field tonight, too. I want to hit that before I go to bed for the night. Because um, if I don't, I think it'll grow. The crop will grow all the way by the time we wake up tomorrow morning and we'll have missed our opportunity. Oh. Shizzle sticks. I forgot we have to go through this section, too. Look out, lady. Running over villagers is not a good thing. I'd like to buy the field across. The fields, all the fields around here are fairly expensive, though. Those are like $50,000. I'm like, man, that seems like a lot of money for like a half acre of land, but it is what it is. And thank you, my wife, for providing belches on my recording. Belches brought to you tonight by Bonnie Old England. Jolly Old England. What? <laughs> now she's making monkey lips. Okay, so we are going to finish that row because I want to be able to not have to go into the bushes every time I go to the end of the field and we're going to swing around here this time we're going to And in three easy passes, we have the field planted. And one awkward turnaround. But seriously, it looks like we can do this whole field in like four passes. That's nice. Uh, and as we get more fields, this will become more and more useful. Um, because, obviously, this could take like 20 passes with the smaller one. Plus, you have to go over it once with the cult the cult of plow too. So this is nice because it's a direct, direct method. Less work, faster application, means less expense. And I just hired a worker, which I did not want to do. Burp. So, in a couple months here, we have a new farm coming out. Uh, we'll definitely be doing it on the channel. Uh, they are uh, coming out with a new Swiss map and Swiss equipment, and that will be available in November. Uh, I will have early access to it, so I will do some streaming with it, and I'll also do some um, YouTube coverage before the, it actually releases so you guys can get uh, a chance to see it before you buy it and before it comes out, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to say probably the first or second week of November is when that's going to be released to me because I think it... When does it come out, honey? The 22nd? 27th something like that it's like the, the the third week of November I think is when it's released so I'll have it at least a, probably five days in advance usually they give it to me about a week ahead of when it's released so um, I should be able to get you some nice coverage you guys will be able to see the tractors early and we'll start our farm uh, on it and then uh, you know we'll continue that series also um, 
In fact, we might even make it so that we move this farm to that. Uh, like we'll sell, we'll sell off our property and see how much we're worth. How much are you worth, Arthur? My wife's laughing. That's not a good sign. According to my my check, I'm, the check that I did today on my criminal record page, I'm worth $300,000. Ooh. I don't know where they get that from because I'm completely broke and have no money, but... <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'm rich. Uh, I don't have a criminal record, so... What are you laughing at? I've got a couple unpaid credit card charges and uh, and a um, what do you call it uh, a uh, a headlight out violation for my car, <laughs> which has already been actually I re replaced the car, but not because of the headlight. Um, I'm a high-end criminal. Criminal mastermind. Okay, so we're going to wash the tractor off. Wash the cedar off. I think we're about to hear a bad word. My wife said, oh, and then caught herself. She was like, oh, Floop. Oops. I wonder if this will fit in my barn. Hmm. Apparently my seat is too big for the barn. I, I, can't, I can't fit it through the gap. I'm going to word that very carefully. Okay, so we're just going to park the cedar um, somewhere else. Where the heck am I going to put this thing? <laughs> but you have a bigger barn? Um, I'm thinking I will put it over by the silage pit. Dang it. Oh. <sighs> a bit off more than I can chew with that thing. Well, that's as good as it gets. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our wheels out. Dang it. That's just... Mm. I really like the cedar, but it's just a hair too big. We're going to have to maybe look at a different solution there. Oh, shit. That's what they all say. So if that cedar is 6, how wide is this one? 3.6. Wow, it's a lot more expensive. Our horsepower would do... That one also does the same thing, but it's a little bit narrower. We might have to go over to that. Um, this We have this style, Cavernlin. That's way more expensive, and that one doesn't fertilize. Dang it. We have these. That's what we had originally, and that one we could. We could also do that, but yeah, it's hard to beat the $6,000 used price. Okay. Um, we need to put some tiny wheels on this one. There we go. Tiny wheels applied. Now we're going to go ahead and get our spoil. And I don't want herbicide. I want fertilizer. So we're going to come over here. And drop that there. Fill me up with fertilizer. How old are you? 
I think my wife is 12. She's 33 going on 12. Wait, are you 33 or 30? You're 33. Or are you 34? Wait a minute. Wait. I don't know. How old is my wife? I don't know. Babs, how old are you? You're 33. Right? Yes, because I'm 46. Or am I 47? I'm 46. Okay, so we are splaying the field. This will make it at 100%. So these two fields are ready to go. That field over there has been weeded and sprayed. So now all we have to do is we got to watch these front fields and see how they're doing. The grass fields, I'm not going to bother for bother. I'm not going to bother fertilizing the grass fields. Um, but we will be. Filling this up with some, some more fertilizer. There we go. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go through here. There we go. Didn't really want to go that far back, but okay. Okay, good. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, our field statuses. We've got 99. That's 100% fertilized, growing, and it's been weeded. 100% fertilized, growing, and weeded. The cows are doing good. High milk cows, moo. Dog, check. These are fertilized, but I can't fertilize it again because I just fertilized it when I planted. So, Gromit's going to bark. Sorry, guys. He's barking at someone outside. That's fertilized. This so we have to wait till this grows the stage before we can fertilize either of these fields. Hopefully we won't get weeds, but we probably will. So hold on a sec. Sorry, I had to yell at the dog. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so we got a lot of straw. And we'll have more. But the we also have... We're out of hay. Uh, let's look at the food situation for our cows before we go to bed. Uh, the cows are mm, happy. So we have, they have hay, 39,000 liters of hay. We'll fill that back up again in the next day or two. So they should be fine. They got they got about four or five days of hay left, and that's good. Uh, Productivity is at 80%, which is where it should be. Cleanliness, 94. So that means we could scrape the thing before we go to bed, make sure it's clean. Plenty of water, plenty of straw. Oh, how much milk did we have? I didn't look. <laughs> 600. Uh, I would not be I would not be remiss in, in commenting that the cow's production is slightly lackluster. <laughs> uh, they should be making us more money than that. I don't know if I can get can I get little tires on this one? How about arms? That's pretty cool. Not doing it though. Okay, we can get narrow tires. I don't need them, so. I was hoping I could put uh, arms on this, but I guess not. That's kind of bizarre. Gromit. You silly dog. Knock it off. It's. I'm sure it's a neighbor kid outside playing or a criminal trying to break into my house. Hopefully the kid's the the answer. Uh, what else do we have for Massey Ferguson? I'm just looking to see here. We got a lot of stuff. We got a 4250. Is that Massey? Those look like they're the totally wrong color, don't they? 
Ew. What the? I don't even know how I got those. Those are terrible. Look at all these series, like 3000s. Which one do I have? Um, I have that one. What's the other one I have? This one? Yep. Four by four version. Hmm. That's about it. We've got that guy. That guy. I'm just looking to see if we have anything that we could use for. Uh... <laughs> I've used this on other ones. <laughs> cute all right uh that tractor's horrible and the low price does not draw me towards it but we could boy these are really inexpensive i guess deutz is not a wanted brand anymore does this guy what does this guy have does he have a it's a pretty cool tractor i think i actually had one of these at the start of the farm but there's no, how about the Fords out of my price range? I want something that's like, Oof, that is ugly. Wow. I do like this. I've used this for videos before that. That's pretty cool. Configuration, front loader attacher, yeah. I don't know. That's a good price, but I feel like it's kind of cheaty. It's so inexpensive. What is this? This larger one? O older but larger. What model is this? 461. Well, that's a cute little tractor, don't you think? Design color white orange that doesn't seem to make a difference main color what are my choices Ooh, i like that boy there's some neat stuff you know these some of these mods are really cool and i don't i don't mess with them very often but that's classic used i like the way that looks so it's got michelin tires Front weights. So it's up to 100 horsepower. I don't know. I can't see spending $20,000 on a front loader. I just don't want to do it. I'm sure there's a good mod out there somewhere, but uh, anyway. All right, so we are all set then. Um, this tractor we sprayed with. Let's go ahead and clean the cows out. And then we'll be done. We'll call it an episode. But uh, so kind of a quiet night tonight. We got our sealed, our seals, our fields turned around. I'd probably just leave this on the front of the tractor. I, I, I would, like I said, at some point I'd like to get a dedicated sprayer tractor or a larger little tractor so we can have a little more oomph. Wing. All right, let's see. Well, that. There we go. All I hear is zombies. <sighs> Let's pull this back in here. And so there you have it, folks. We have been on Chambly Sail Muse here in the heart of France with a beautiful day. We planted our fields. Everything is good. Have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. We'll see you in the next relaxing, calming edition 
of Chambly sur Muse, uh, Campaign of France. Have a great night, guys. Thumbs up always help. Be sure to subscribe. If you really like the channel and you've been having fun watching my videos, feel free to donate. The, the, the link to my PayPal donation page is in the description. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Bye.